Folks, I'm just going to say it. Official Apple iOS screen recording has arrived. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel and today Apple had their WWDC, the Worldwide Developers Conference. And in it they talk about a lot of new things. There was new hardware, iMacs, new uh, iPads, but sadly not iPad minis, damn Apple. But there was also a lot of talk about new software updates, in particular iOS 11, and they went through a good 20 minute demonstration of all the new features. Screen recording wasn't mentioned, but then at the very end of that part of the presentation there was a splash screen and some eagle-eyed person looked at all the features on there and they spotted this. Now when I first saw this on Twitter I thought yeah but that doesn't really mean anything. It could be any form of screen recording. We already have it in the uh, replay kit that I've showed you in previous videos. Is this actually going to give us full native screen recording without any restrictions? And then I started to see other things on Twitter and I thought, oh my god, I need to get iOS Beta 11 right now to find out if that is the truth. And it is. So here is a quick how-to to get screen recording on your iOS device. So obviously to get this official screen recorder you need iOS 11 which has just been released in beta format. Three things to know, back up your device. Once you install iOS 11 it may be impossible to roll back to iOS 10 and you do all of this at your own risk. With all that being said, use the link in the video description to take you to this web page where you can install a profile on your device that will search for the iOS beta software update. Make sure you do this in a Safari web browser and when you tap the download iOS 11 link it will take you through to your settings screen where you can apply the profile. At this point it will ask you to restart your device. When your device boots back up again you should be able to go into the settings, tap general, followed by software update and instead of giving you the latest iOS 10 update it should offer up iOS 11 beta. Now it's a pretty beefy download so it might take a while to arrive on your device since every single iOS developer on the planet is probably doing the same thing right now. It took around 10 minutes for it to download for me. But once you have it, tap install and like any normal iOS update it will go off and do its thing which is in this case took around 15 minutes. Now if all goes well on reboot it should ask you to input your Apple ID followed by a couple of Siri tests at which point you will be chucked back onto your home screen with all your apps and data intact. And a quick glance at this software update screen confirms we are now on iOS 11 beta. The biggest indicator that you're on iOS 11 is the control center which looks completely different and this is where we need to focus our attention because we need to add a little something. Go to settings followed by the control center, scroll down to more controls and boom there it is in clear plain sight screen recorder. Add that to your controls and when you next launch the control center you'll see a white recording button. When you press the record button it will turn red and immediately start recording. Go back to the home screen and you'll see a recording bar and timer at the top of the screen. Yep, it really is as simple as that. Now obviously being a native screen recording function when this video saves to your photo gallery it works perfectly with no glitches. I copied the video onto a PC and checked out the file properties too and they are all good. Resolution looks to be native to the screen size of a device and frame rate was very high. There is one setting you can change on the screen recording by force touching the button. I have no idea how this works on non force touch devices and this is where you can turn on the microphone for audio recordings. So what you're about to hear is direct screen and audio recording. Let's check it out. So let's do a test of me doing the screen recording now with a microphone on. Two things to note, audio sync seemed good but maybe not perfect and like other screen recorders it seems to kill the music which is a little odd. Now of course this was a super quick test as soon as I realised that iOS Beta 11 could do screen recording. There may be bugs lurking around, features I've missed and other things so by all means fire in questions and as I do more tests and investigations I'll certainly let you know. But in short summary it looks as if our problems have been solved with one simple app from Apple which they could have given us years and years ago. Thank you but come on! As I said at the top of the video this is iOS 11 in beta format. 
released before it's supposed to go out to the public. So there could be bugs all across the board in terms of the software. So if you really want to update it for screen recording, by all means do it, but just bear in mind you could compromise your entire device if it is your daily driver. As for an official release, well, it will probably come out when the new iPhones come out, which will be autumn, so September or October. Other than that, if you have any questions, do fire them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you'd like me to test on this new iOS screen recording feature. And for more iOS screen recording content, not that you'll probably need much more from me now that it works natively, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your magnificent iOS screen recording tech day. Bye for now. Yes! Hang on, if iOS screen recording is so easy now, does this put me out of a job? Don't! Oh!